My friend hit me up. He asked me to hang. So I said, we should hang. I could tell from the way he asked that stuff was up. And I guess I am the type of guy you can call on when stuff is up. Back in high school, me and my friends would stereotype any regular looking guy with a hot girl as a good listener. But soon enough, even a good looking guy with a hot girl was of course a good listener. Well, these days, I'm a good listener. Minus the hot girl. Damn, where did I go wrong? Leroy is my friend's name, and he's black. Not super black, but definitely black. College is what made him less black. And no, the endless days in class did not make him lose skin tone. It was being in an institution where the vast majority was white that made him less black. A place where the general culture is as white bread as you can get. No crust to be found there. Not at Portland State, the school we went to, anyway. It even made me more white, and I was white to begin with. The fact that lots of white dudes who were listening to rap and acting all gangster only made it worse. Leroy and I met in high school. It took us a minute to figure out we were meant to be friends, but we did eventually, and we've hung solid. I texted him back. I'll meet you there. Leroy has a spot where he likes to go to when he needs to figure shit out. So I figured he'd be there. It's in Cathedral Park, looking over the Willamette River, where the St. John's Bridge crosses it. His thumbs up emoji confirmed my suspicion. I live and love and hate the North Portland life, but things are close by, so it took me only five minutes to get there. The haze factor got higher as I got closer to him. He smokes too much, but still, not as much as I do. (laughs) Oh shit, she broke up with your sorry ass? But why? You guys were doing great lately. He mumbled. She found out I slept with Rizzy. Did you tell her? You are the only other person who knew. He didn't sound mad, but it was still a dumb question. I wanted to. And I know you like to think you were all innocent and shit because officially you and Rosé were not together at that point because you quote unquote were broken up for that three week time span. But no woman is going to enjoy hearing about her man sleeping with her sister during that time period. Half sister. They are half sisters, dumbass. And you know it. I laughed and shook my head. They are sisters and six times tighter than my two full-blooded sisters will ever be. They're hella tight. Who does Rosé talk to when you two are having a hard time? Exactly. But the risk for you always was that the two of them fight a lot as well. It was bound to come out at some point. That's why I told you you should tell her. Can you go talk to her? I'm a good friend, so I told him, Of course I'll go talk to her. She's super hot and she's single now. It's my time to shine. Later, loser. Seriously, will you go talk to her? I would like to say yes. But I've seen how she gets when she's mad. So, you're on your own. I know. That's why I can't talk to her and I was hoping you would. What? She's too high-headed for you to handle, so you're sending me in? It's not like that. She's mad at me and not at you. All you need to do is agree with her and say I'm a dumbass. And then ask her to forgive me. Fine. As soon as you sell all my weed, I'll go talk to her. A little side note. Though we both went to college, we are still just making a living in the weed industry. It's too lucrative not to. I grow indoor, and he has good connections, so he's always moving stuff for peeps and making a point on it, or 50 cents. As far as I'm concerned, I grow dang dessert strains that he can sell for a good price to his cousin from Atlanta. It's the Kush life. Of 
course I'll sell you stinking weed. But can you go talk to her now? She's killing me. In that moment, I saw a level of sincerity and desperate in him that I had not seen before. It did something to my heartstrings and I decided to put my life on the line and go see Rosé for him. I explained myself though. I know she's going to want something in return. What you willing to sacrifice to pay your dues? Dude, you rock. She's off from work today, so you can go see her this very moment. Chill out already. I'm still gathering information. I haven't decided yet if I can even recoup your losses. She's gonna want something from you. So what empty promise are you going to make her to make her feel excited again about being with your sorry ass? Dude, you tripping. Don't play me like that. I thought you were on my side. I just know how that conversation is going to go. She's going to bring up the fact you cheated on her before and how you promised her that you would never do that again, ever. I'm telling you, I did not cheat on her this time. I know that's how you see it. But when I'm going to talk to her, I'm a thousand percent for reals going to hear that she can't believe you dared to cheat on her again. But it's not true. I'm not sure if it's the dreadlocks or what, but something is blocking your brain from receiving the fact she feels you cheated on her. Technically, you might be right, but emotionally, you're absolutely wrong. And I'm guaranteed to end up dead if I go and tell her that technically, you did not cheat on her. Whether you cheated on her or not doesn't even matter. Either way, you should have told her you slept with her sister. How you went to go talk to her sister because you were bummed out that Rosé had broken up with you. And that when Rizzy had felt sorry for you when you were crying your eyes out, she had put her arms around you. One thing led to another. You kissed, you kissed some more. You fucked, you fucked some more. Next morning you realize you fucked up. I'm kind of blown away it took Rizzy this long to drop that truth bomb. I'm not sure, but... I wouldn't be surprised if she had feelings for you. Poor thing. First she sleeps with you, and next thing she knows, you call it a mistake that very same night. Ugh, probably fucked her up pretty bad. Now that I think about it, the fact she didn't tell her sister before proves to me she had feelings for you. She wanted to protect you. Are you high? Did you smoke too much of your own supply? I thought you were on my side. You're making me feel like a dick. Not my dick moves, but I think I actually found some good news. I think Rizzy turned on you because you've been giving her less attention. I've seen you act different around other girls as well. You're not doing that flirting thing anymore. I might be mistaken, but I'm starting to think you might actually be finally growing up. And you decided Rosé is your woman. The challenge is, you still have a past, and it's a checkered one. But anyway... Come back to my question, what are you willing to sacrifice? He was quiet for a moment, and he seemed to finally be taken in what I had shared. When he had sorted out his brain, he straightened his back and turned to me. Tell her I'll go to the gym with her to work out. But you're about as fit as anybody can be, and you play ball all the time. Why is that a game changer offer? I don't know. She's always asking me. She says she doesn't like going by herself. Doesn't she always go with Rizzy anyways? I know. That's another reason why it doesn't make any sense. It took me a second to figure it out. It doesn't need to make sense, I guess. My feeling is she wants you to come with her to the gym for protection. She wants you there because she wants all them homies to stop hitting on her. He gave me the Russell Westbrook face again tripping maybe let me create this picture for you if you were at the gym and you saw a woman as hot as rose doing squats in some tight and sexy outfit would you hit on her his eyes got real big i think you got the picture are you saying i should go to the gym with her and piss on everybody to claim my turf yes brah she basically wants to walk in there and be like yo 
Stop being such motherfuckers. This is my man. Now leave me the fuck alone. I could totally see her do that. My girl be hot like that. Right? I'm telling you. He took a moment to think things over. And then he asked. And by the way. You really think I changed? Maturing and shit? Yep. Even grown up enough to go have that conversation yourself. You cold. Not your mama. But it looks like you tried to have a conversation with her already. I assume that's where you got that shiner. It was his right eye, and Rosé is a lefty. It all added up. She got me good. I didn't see it coming. She had called and said her parents were out. So I thought we were going to have sex. I show up at her house, and she leans in to kiss me. So I do the same. But then she whacked me. I immediately yelled out, Chill out, what'd you do that for? And that's the point she decided to tell me. Well, if I was you, I'd put that shiner to good use and go have that conversation right now. Because she might feel a bit guilty over that shiner she gave you. And maybe she'd be more understanding. You know what? I might just do that. I'll roll another one and head straight over. He got his weed out and some papers while I brought up the following. I always thought Dutch courage was when peeps feel a bit braver from drinking booze. Makes sense it's actually weed, because Amsterdam is the cannabis capital of the world. Shut up. I got this. You're taking forever. Want me to roll it? Shut up. I got this. He was quiet for a bit while he focused on the weed. Then he mumbled. When you gonna ask Grizzy out? I wasn't sure if I heard him right, and I was probably not expecting to hear that particular question. So I asked him, what? When are you going to ask Rizzy out? Why? Do you think I got a chance? You never know till you try. Huh. Fact. Ask her to come with for the Earth Gang show on Friday. It's gonna be lit. I was trying to figure out how I could best play that when he hit me on the back of the head. Relax. Just ask her out and have a good time. Maybe sparks will fly. Get some 4th of July up in this joint. But what is for sure is that you don't have to figure it out all in advance. You really think she'd be into me? Brev, she likes connecting with you. Yes, but she never showed me she liked like me. And did you ever show her you liked liked her? No. So wait. How about you give that a try so you can finally shut up about being single? Cold. Not your mama.